happy to see you again. Can I do anything for you? I'm at your service. I love the atmosphere here, as I'm sure you'd expect. The exterior is spacious and very pleasant, and the interior is exquisitely decorated. I do believe it's the finest estate I've ever seen. The only problem is... Compared to Mondstadt, there's far too little here for a maid to do. It feels a little too relaxing. Hello. I Can I do anything for... Good morning. The temperature has been fluctuating greatly as of late, so please take care to not catch a cold. Ah, it is you. The wayfarer of a world beyond whose fate crosses mine own. Dost thou wish to present any tidings to the princessin before thee? I behold the magnificent vistas of three thousand worlds, and am intimately acquainted with the threads of past and future. Feebly does the expanse that appears before me endeavor to capture my attention. <sighs> no mortal lifetime bears the imagination required to fathom the collective phenomena experienced by the princessin. This place is but a grain of sand in the shadow of my Imanachaich. But, Main Fräulein, you previously said that you wished to stay here for a while. That... Uh, that was but to demonstrate solidarity for her, as a kindred soul of the Outrealm. Ah, it is you, the wayfarer of a world be dost thou wi- Stalled have I the inexorable march of time, and veiled the omnipresent gaze of fate. Traveler from beyond, the sovereign princessin shall arbitrate the discord of thine heart. What Main Fräulein means is that she happens to be free right now. If there is something on your mind, she is happy to listen. Preposterous! I am the Princessin Befer Ertelang. What mortal follies could venture to imprint themselves upon my psyche? When I was out on reconnaissance, didn't the new recruits from the Adventurer's Guild joke about you, since they couldn't understand what you were saying? I remember that you were distressed about this, Main Fräulein. Nonsense! How could I be perturbed by such trifling antics from my retinue? Alas, I lament that those neophytes lack semblance to you, traveler from an outer world, the one delivered before me by the threads of fate. The one who perceives the truth and meaning of my declarations. Yes, indeed do I perceive rightly. By my regard, should Oz be conducting reconnaissance on my behalf, I grant you permission to remain in my propinquity. Now, relay the will of the princessin to her attendants. Frankly, I also think this is a good idea. Allay all doubt, for you are the one that I, the princessin, have personally appointed. Hesitate not, and proclaim my decrees to this world's denizens. So shall it be. Rejoice! That wanton broom of devilry hath dissipated beneath my immaculate radiance. Ah, it is you, the wayfarer of dost thou... Stars cast from the celestial tapestry are the final moments of an hourglass. Tremors erupting from the earth are the dying echoes of an ancient god's heart. Shall I usher in this world's desolate finale with none save my own shadow? Oh, blessed one, you. Would you accompany me to witness this world's end and greet the dissension of eternal night? What Main Fräulein means to say is... Uh, Oz! Uh, wait, really? Are you serious? M Main Fräulein? Uh, uh, um, very good. A 
allow me to offer resplendent blessings to illuminate your fated travels. I, Fischl von Luftschloss Nafidot, along with my familiar of the night, Oswaldo Hafnevines, will safeguard your path ahead, for fate has revealed to me that this be decreed. Ah, it dost thou wi- Profess tribute, for this space is exalted by my consecration. None shall interfere with your repose. Main Fräulein says, good night. May you have sweet dreams. <laughs>